What's up guys, Sam here doing another gameplay slash review and this is like the fifth time I've tried to make this video work accordingly and it's starting to drive me crazy. We have times where the audio is too loud or something goes wrong or maybe even Fraps is even running so I end up talking to myself and Fraps isn't even on so it doesn't matter. Okay, so I got this set up correctly now, hopefully. Let's see if this works. Alien Swarm. Uh, it's a game where you have set out on missions to fight v through mass hordes of aliens that basically are trying to swarm over you and stop you from getting to your mission. Uh, it's a pretty game. I've tried to play it by myself. Um, I've tried to find a mode that's basically a survival mode where you're in a room trying to fend off endless swarms and you get points for how long you're there and how many aliens you killed and you can compare that to other people's score online well there isn't anything like that so I was kinda disappointed there I've I've looked around on it I can't find anything like that but who knows there might be actually something like that it might actually be there but every time I try to do it it says you have to have a friend so maybe I just had to have that one friend in order to be able to play the game at all but even that doesn't make any much, um, very much sense. So, for you guys, I guess I'll just go on to the offline practice mode. Um, like I was saying, it's a game where you have a mission where you start at the beginning, you walk through the building, get to the end, download whatever, and then it's over. You're done. You're it's not too much other than that. Uh, you get to choose your different character. Different characters have different stats. I personally like this guy just because he has a minigun and an auto turret. I like that. I mean, that'd be such a great feature if they had a survival mode, but they don't really have something like that. So I'm disappointed with that. Okay, squad, we need to check the shipping manifest. See if any survivors made it off this rock. Make your way down to the landing bay and find a terminal where we can download the transport records. I'll check in with you there. Now they also actually have friendly fire on this, which is pretty cool, and does damage to your friends. So positioning yourself in this game with your friends is quite important. And here you go. Here's the map. You have to the bottom right here. Start here. You work your way through. And it's just I'm starting to get irritated at it now. <laughs> I've tried to do it with five videos now. Was it F or E? Oh, that's right click. Melee is your right mouse button. You can control your uh, AIs to you know do stuff, which is pretty cool. So it doesn't really make sense why. It doesn't make sense why they don't have something where you can play by yourself and not have to rely on either an AI or a single friend. It doesn't make that much sense to me. So let's put the chart up here. This is where they're going to actually start coming. And as you can see, the tower or the turret's pretty much OP. And yeah, right there, that's it. Now I have to pick up the chart and move on. I, it's kind of disappointing, but... But I can see having fun with your friends trying to get through a mission. Um... That's basically Alien Swarm for you right here. The big chain gun going off. Oh, it's a satisfying sound I do have to say. Subscribe, thumbs up, helps me out a lot. Hopefully I'll get to a point where I'll be able to produce a lot more videos and a lot more reviews. Sub uh, subscribe to be informed when 
new stuff comes out. Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this video was informative to your satisfaction.